Well, definitely finish one apiece on the road here at base this afternoon. Um, just some of that performance. Um, it's a good, it's a good point in the end. The way the game's kind of turned out, um, everything's gone against us, against us from a from an injury perspective. Um, lots of changes. Uh, you're one 0 down with, you know, in injury time, I suppose. And, to claw a point out of it, we're, we're looking at it as a very positive result for us. Yeah, and in terms of that team selection, you've already touched on it, that we're quite short in that defensive area. To Dan Rowe out suspended today, um, he'll back next game. Obviously, Cole Shepard going off in midweek as well. Um, but how, how do you feel that like the defence of the whole did over throughout the game? I think we started off very well. We looked very accomplished. Um, we were playing the way we wanted to play, uh, which was obviously possession and start from the back. Um, but then obviously the muscular injury to, to Connor Smith it's it's changes again we've had to make a change and I think from that point it disrupted us a little bit um, we we continued to play but ultimately we just didn't have the balance there and you know what what was to follow with further injuries obviously again disrupted us again so it was a it was a tough afternoon from that perspective yeah in terms of those injuries you've already touched on Connor Smith going off um, early on then Sonny Fergus that particular looks quite a serious one at the moment yeah it does he's, he's at the ball whether it's whether it's the cold weather whether it's the ground has caught his foot on the ground, but you know it's it's his groin, I think, and that's going to certainly be a, a longer term injury, definitely. Yeah, in terms of the performance, um, the first half, the attacking side of things, it felt like we'd be, for the most part, we we're on top, but really couldn't sort of get anything clear cut, particularly. Yeah, we were definitely on top. Um, line share of possession, some good rotations. Um, Brad's had a, a great opportunity, not took advantage of it. Um, Junior's obviously gone one on one and, and hit the keeper. The keeper's obviously just put himself in the way. And, Probably a tad lucky the way he kind of uh, he held on to it. So we had the chances. We definitely had chances. On another day, you take them, and you know it could have potentially been a, a much comfortable afternoon. But we didn't take them as it was, and they hit us with a with a bit of a sucker punch. Yeah, and that goal in particular as well in in the second half. It came shortly after we had a chance to run down the other end mm. and on the counter attack. And from that point onward, the way the, the second half was panning out, we sort of got to the point where you wondered where a whip goal was going to come from. Yeah, it was tough. I mean, we were huffing and puffing. <laughs> You know, we were getting some great areas. We just final 25, 30 yards. We, we just wasn't working out for us. I've got to give them some credit. They had a low block, and it, it, it tend to work. Everything was dropping for them. That doesn't happen by chance. They've you know they've, they've worked, worked on it. You can see, and and it, it was it was tough for us to get through. But um, I think it's one of them. We, we kept going. We kept going, and we, we we got a good point, obviously, from the free kick. Yeah, and that's one of those from Jacob Grattan as well, because when the free kick's awarded, very close to the edge of the box, you sort of feel, you know, what what's the decision that a player's going to take there, because it's often the challenging ones, and in reality, that's probably the, the best case scenario there, is going low and hard of it. Yeah, well, he's, you know, him and Priestley were on it, it was 25 yards out, sometimes it's quite hard to get it up and over a wall at that particular point, but I think they've, between them, they've seen a gap, um, and they've, and, and Gratz has drilled it into that gap, he's pinpointed it in there, so, yeah, at that point, you're thinking, yeah, it's a great point. Um, and I do think we, we could have potentially won it, but it seesawed a little bit the final four minutes and, and they had the chances as well. So we've got to look at it and we've got to be thankful we've got a point. Yeah, it's one of those as well in terms of the scheduling. Um, I suppose mm -hmm. as much as yeah, what, if Hats has taken its toll injury wise today, you'd be grateful that you managed to get another game out of the way of what's you know, going to be another hectic December schedule. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely crazy. Um, and, and for the players, listen, they're the ones who are out there, the squad. It's tough on them. It's really, really tough. And, you know, it's absolutely sub-zero temperatures today. It must be really, really hard to play. Um, but we've got more of it to come. Um, we'll rest up and um, we'll go again. It's it's what we have to do. So, yeah, we'll look forward to it. Yeah, the next up is a home game on Tuesday night against uh, Matlock Town. That one, um, one of the, the recent before matches. And going to that one, you know what you're going to expect. Again, it's probably not going to be the you know the, the warmest of conditions once again and uh, you know the heavy conditions we've had the last couple of weeks. Yeah, well, it's, it's obviously going to be weather dependent. The weather's obviously terrible over in Whitby at the moment. Um, We'll obviously check up on that over the next couple of days, but the, the main priority for, for me and the management team and, and the physio is to um, to nurse some of them niggles that we've got and reassess and potentially we, we may need to bring a couple of bodies in because uh, we're certainly going to be low on numbers now. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll go to work tomorrow on that.